Hey everybody, this is Linda, and today I have a pretty big haul to show you. Um, it's actually gifts from my husband. He um, has been, he went to Montana to visit his family, and I didn't go, I stayed home. Well, while he was out there, his sister took him to a thrift store that had a ton of doilies, and he bought every one of them, put them in a box, and mailed them to me. So he's not home yet, but the doilies are here. Except that he told me on the phone that he got some more. So he's bringing those home with him, which will be tomorrow. So first I'm going to show you the big stuff that he got me. Um, this is like a big, like a, I guess a, one of those uh, table toppers. And it's, it's, um, it's got a real pretty border around it. And uh, this is the way it is all the way around. And it's too big for me to completely open up because uh, I don't have that much space on my table. And my camera won't show it all anyway. So that's the first one. And then he got me this, which is pretty big also. So this is just half of it. So it's this and then half again. Um, it has a lot of doilies to cut out. And then it's got some really big doily connectors. <laughs> it's huge. So anyway, um, he got me this one. And... I'm just going to leave these right here and I'll just stack them back up the way I have them here. And then he got me this. And this has some hearts on it. And uh, this is not really embroidery, but uh, it was in the, in the stack. <laughs> so there was that one. And then he found this one, which is kind of unusual because... It's got a heart on it, and the heart is a different color from the rest of it. And I don't know why that is. I actually think it's a stain that looks like a heart. <laughs> but it does look like a heart. And uh, this also is twice as big as, as it's showing up here. And I don't know if that stain will come out, but um, if it doesn't, I'll just cut around it. And... Uh, so there's that one. Now we'll get into the regular doilies, which I think this is lovely. Actually, I don't think you can see these, so let me move these big ones out of the way now. But we've seen all those really big ones. And uh, you can get a good look at that. Isn't that pretty? I love this one. And I don't really have a lot of stuff that's like this, so um, I was thrilled when I opened up the box and seen all the lovely things that my husband had found. <laughs> then there's this one. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time. I'm just going to show you and move on because there's quite a few. And then there's this one. We might stop on a little few of the uh, more unusual ones that he found. Then there was this, which kind of looks a little bit like a butterfly. If you take that off, you'd have kind of a big butterfly. Butt flies, as my grandson used to call them when he was little. And there was two of those, just like. Wait a minute. Yeah, there's two of those. And then there was this. And it's a little bit on the odd side. Um, it's kind of got the same pattern here. Maybe it's been cut. Mm. Well, it hasn't been cut, but um, it was made... The big one and then two small ones, I guess. Hadn't noticed that before. So I guess that's like a set. And then, oh, there was two of those also. 
So there's the other one. Put them together here. And then let's see. This one's a different. Uh, this one is uh, a little different too. I'm not sure about this. I'm not exactly sure how this one was. Let me see if I turn it this way. I think I can get the whole thing in. It's uh, I think this was probably maybe machine made. Um, maybe I don't. I don't know for sure. Um, it's got crochet. It's it's got crochet. It, I think it was. I don't know. I don't know. It's just that. I don't think it. I think it was two different things, and they were put together. Maybe. Let me know if you know if you've ever seen anything like this. So because I haven't, but it looks. Um, it's got some. I guess a little tatting around in here, and and then it's got. Um, crochet on the edges and I don't know what this is called but that's what makes me think that it's it's uh, machine made is because of the it needs to be pressed it's a little bit wrinkled but anyway this is the front and then the back see has this uh, yeah here's a tag so it says brown sugar designs yeah okay so this is machine made which I thought it was um, anyway, that's uh, that piece. And then there's this piece, which has a real pretty design. And I think this is probably machine made also. feels like it is. Okay. Then there's this big doily here. It's a great big one. I don't know how I got it in the middle of my smaller ones, but anyway, this one's a pretty good size. And I don't have very many big doilies. All mine are really small, like maybe this size right here is mostly the size I have, which would be, what, about a 5 inch? So, yeah, so that's a pretty big one there. And then... Some of these are really pretty. Let me see the right which side is the right this side. So I really like that one. I think that's a pretty one. And then we have this one. Sometimes it's hard to tell which is the front and which is the back. That one. I like it too. Well, I really like all of them because my my husband picked them out and bought them for me, and I thought that was just such a sweet thing for him to do. There's that one. Yeah, he said that the lady had a whole box full, and he just told her he'd buy them all. And of course, he she gave him a deal on them because he had bought so many. Um, he said he got a good deal, so I don't know what a good deal is but anyway and there's that one I was thrilled to get them <laughs> and then there's this one I think I already showed one like this I think I got two like this one um, pretty sure I did and then there's this little one it's got a few stains on it but we like stains too don't we I know my husband, he, he asked me about the stains. I said, no, I don't care. They're stained, ripped, it don't matter. Whatever. It'll all work. So that one has a few stains on it. <clears throat> and there's another one. I think that's the wrong side. Yeah, this is the right side. And here's another one just like that one so I got a set of two of those I guess I need to spread them all out and see what what's uh, pairs it's kind of hard with so many to lay them all out at one time then there's this one is that the right side this is the... mm -hmm. 
maybe. Yeah, I think this is the right side. I like the ones that have this little ruffle crochet around them because when you cut that, it just makes a really pretty trim to go around the bottom of something. Um, this same one, that ruffle trim on it. And then there's this one. This one's a little bit odd because it's got this thing here in the center and it's not it's not really in the center, but uh, this side. See, it's a little bit off right there. And I, I do believe this is also uh, machine made. A lot of these I think are machine made, but I don't care. They'll work. They're doilies, right? And look at these. These are pretty. I think these are really pretty. They have a little embroidery in the center of them. Which is pretty. And I got uh, two of those. And then I got this one, which I think is, I love this. It's tiny, but it's just got so much uh, detail in it. I just think it's so pretty. I hope you can see it. <laughs> And let's see, there's this little one here. It's come apart right there, but that's not a big deal. And then we got a little tiny one, which I have tons of these kind, little bitties. And uh, then there's this one. I have a lot about this size too, and that's about the biggest, pretty much the biggest size that I have. And then these are, are really pretty. They're, they're um, machine made, but I think they're pretty. And there's uh, three, two of these, two of these. So two of those. And then there's this little doily. And I think I have two just alike of this one here. The same? No, they're different. No, they're the same. So I got two of those. They're just alike. And now I'll show you the colored ones because I also got some colored ones, which I'm not big into color, but I got some colored ones anyway. So. I think this one is really pretty, and I really wish it was white. It's got a really pretty layered flower with the crochet around it, and I just I just think this one's really pretty. And I have no idea if it's uh, machine made or handmade. I can't. I don't really know. Um, I know there's a string right here where it's been put, you know, together, but. Uh, I have no idea, but I really do like it. <sighs> and then uh, there's two of these little peach ones. They're just alike. There. And then there's uh, this one which is variegated with uh, pink and white and blue. It's really pretty. I don't use much color, but you know, you never know when you might need some. This is a very um, unique one, and I do believe that this one was handmade. Um, it's got these little flowers with little yellow centers. I think maybe you can see that big ones around here and then smaller ones around inside so that's a, a really unique one I like that one a lot then I have this big uh, kind of a coral color I think it's pretty big too pretty big here and uh, this one was handmade. I can tell from the feel of it. 
that it was handmade and uh, it's not my color but you never know I might find something to use it for and then I have a few more here that um, my sister-in-law sent to me my husband's sister in Montana she sent these before my husband sent the box so there was this one and there's this one and it needs to be ironed but it's got these um, little I don't know little ball things inside each one of these flowers I think it's pretty I like that and get it get it ironed up and then there's this one I really like getting these kind because you know it's like getting four for one plus a doily connector there in the middle and this is a favorite of mine I like this one and uh, this one is uh, it's got these little uh, dimensional flowers and crochet and then it's got this place in the middle here and I'm, I'm not sure what what you would use this type of doily for I, I don't know um, you think at my age I'd have some idea about this stuff but I don't um, when I was younger I was not interested in this kind of stuff so I don't know that much about it but anyway I like that and then she sent me this one and this is another one like that other one I got um, with uh, the little balls in the center I've got two of those so there's that one and then there's this one and it's got those little little balls in the center too it's just it's just like that other one only it's it's a bigger one so I guess that it would also be considered like a set and it's scalloped on this side and this side straight and I have a few more I know I said it was a long it was gonna be long <laughs> so there's two of these One's a little bit bigger than the other one. And I think those are really pretty. They look almost like, like little snowflakes, I think. And then there's this one. Now I've got a couple colored ones here. This one. Um, one of these. I think it's this one. My sister-in-law said they spray painted it. I think it was this one. I never heard of spray painting the doilies. I mean, I know you can spray them with Lindy's and stuff, but she said it was like regular um, acrylic spray paint never heard of that it's not stiff oh I got, oh yeah there you go I don't like this side <laughs> I never even turned it over but uh, uh, I don't like that side at all that's too much yellow this side is good I don't mind this side at all what a difference so anyway it's not stiff so it must have been washed after they spray painted it and uh, then there's this one And this one. Is that one? No. That one's a little bit too bright. And here's a heart. That's pretty. And then um, these I found at my thrift store last week 
and I got these two. And nothing spectacular, just some old stuff I found. Then there was this. It's just pretty big. It's got some stains too, but you know, that's okay. And I washed them and they didn't come out, so I guess they'll stay in. Then I've got this one. I don't like this one too good because it's too thick. You know when they use that thick yarn, it just makes the doilies too too thick and heavy, I think. But it's okay. I'll keep it. And then I'm not really sure why I got this, but I did. Not sure what I can use it for. It's just a big long thing. I don't even know. I guess maybe it's a scarf or a mantle piece, but it's only got it's only got a design down here on this end, and the rest of it's just plain like this. I'll probably cut off the, the around the edges and use it for something. And that is it, my friends. For those of you who hung around and watched the whole thing, I appreciate it. And. Um, yeah, so that's it. I do have a project that I'm going to be showing soon, and uh, I've got just a, a few more. Oh, I had two more doilies laying over there. Isn't that a cutie? Look how tiny that is. Isn't that cute? And then that's just a plain one. So, but anyway, I'm going to gonna be uh, finishing up my project soon. I'll give you a little sneak peek. I'm really excited about it. I'm not finished. I have a few more things to do. So I'm just going to show you. I'll just give you a little look at the front of the book. It's uh, Romeo and Juliet. And it's made from the... Uh, I used images from the 1968 uh, movie that had uh, Olivia Hussey and Leonard Whiting in it. It was back in my day and I loved it. I loved it so much and so I decided that I would make um, a book. So that's the cover. I'm going to be finished with it probably tonight and so maybe I'll get up, um, maybe I get a video uploaded tomorrow to show you the whole thing. But that's the cover and I'm really Really excited about it. I got a few more things to do to it. Most of the pages are completed. I just want to go back and and add a little few little embellishments and stuff before I call it finished. So thanks for um, sticking around all this time, looking at all my doilies that my wonderful hubby got me. And um, I know I'm going to have another two or three bags to share with you when he gets home. He couldn't put everything in his suitcase, so he had to mail part of them. So I'll I'll do a um, a haul when he gets back home and uh, show the rest of them. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye for now.